So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so simply click on start lab and just open the console incognito window now if you are new to this channel do like the video and just subscribe the channel now here basically we'll get two kind of pop up one is you have to click on the i understand button and the next one we have to click on i agree and agree and continue here you can see just click on i understand now here you can clearly see this pop up just click on i agree agree and continue now next to the Gemini icon click on it to activate the cloud shell here basically you have to click on continue and after that another pop up will come you have to click on there basically the authorize button just click on it and wait for some time for the cloud shell to get activated now here first of all let me increase the font size now in the description box of this video I have shared this file just select it paste over here and hit enter it's present in the name of github section now wait for these command to execute it may take 5 to 10 minutes and after that we have to do some manual steps also so kindly wait for it and you'll be able to get full scroll on this lab without any issue now here first of all it will delete the node pool and then it will create a cluster in the region so it will take some more time so wait for it and then when i'll show you how you have to continue just follow as i am doing So finally here you can clearly see all these tasks are done now on the search box just type vpc and click on vpc network and follow as i am doing now here basically you can see just scroll down and here you can see vpc flow logs click on it and here you will get one option click on enable network management api it may take some time and if you are unable to get just refresh the browser window now here at the top you can see add vpc flow logs configuration click on it like this in the subnet section now here it will take some time now here you can see we are getting this default option just select the default and just click on ok now here you can see the filter option for the filter option you have to come to the lab instruction and find the zone let me show you how you have to come over here just come to the lab instruction come to task number 3 here you can clearly see that we have basically the region ok here number 4 is the US central one in my case it's different in your case it might be different you have to just paste over here hit enter and then you'll be able to see the subnet over here so just check it like this you can see sometimes what happens the page reloads itself in such case you have to close the cloud shell because we'll be using the cloud shell over there only now here First of all, close it and just click on this checkbox. Click on add new configuration over here. Okay. Now here, you don't have to click on the configuration subnet. If you try to click on this, you will get some error. You can see configuration subnets compute engine API. You have to click on that. Okay, just click on done and just save it. Now it's working and updating it. Now from the search box, you have to simply open logs explorer just type logs explorer you can see the first option click on it and wait for the log explorer to open here basically we have to create a sync so just stay tuned and wait for the page to fully load first of all remove the unwanted pop-ups from here just remove the unwanted pop-ups from here carefully and here you can see come to the task number three and here you can see vpc flows now here you have to just click on all logs name and here this may take some time because of the traffic you have to just paste the name over here and sometimes what happens you can get the vpc flow logs basically it flows directly only and sometimes it takes time to update in that case you have to reload the browser window and just try again and again just follow as i'm doing you have to just reload the browser window and simply try again you will surely get if you follow the video carefully and one more important thing if you are completely new to the arcade program and want to participate in win swags do check the description video i have shared all the details over there here just try the step again and here you can clearly see the step is carefully mentioned over here the page is still loading 
so you need to wait okay you need to wait for the page to fully load and then simply try to just select it okay if you are able to select it you can just select it or you can search it also manually so just click on it and if you are unable to see the apply filter just zoom out using the control and mouse wheel button okay mouse wheel and then click on apply over here now finally the project will be applied over here basically the log will be generated also and here you can see click on this action and create sync so just try to create a sync i know it may be difficult for you for the beginning just watch the video carefully and follow carefully you will be able to complete it now here basically in this step we have to create a sync data set and just complete it so for that come over here you can see on number eight it's showing the sync name copy the name carefully paste over here click on next and sync service will be bigquery data set now in the bigquery data set click on it create new bigquery data set for the name it's like this copy the name carefully paste over here and just click on create data set it will take few seconds now click on next next and create sync it will finally create it and after that you have you can see here compute google app is uh, it will be shown over here for that you have to just come to the search box and just open the bigquery if you are unable to locate bigquery you can simply just type it also and make sure you are not closing the cloud shell button basically cloud shell in the previous tab which was opened earlier now here you have to click on done first of all you need to click on done i hope this video is not too much complicated it's simple you have to click on done and just verify whether the data set has been added or not so let me show you here simply click on this project id you can see this here finally this data set is missing which one let me show you first of all refresh this data set for that you need to wait for some time it may take time you can meanwhile check the score and for the last task it will take some time so you need to wait for it so just wait now finally the page is finally reloaded and now we have to click on this project id first of all and then we have to just check it whether it's working or not so now click on it and click on us flow logs you can see this api is loaded now click on this query option now simply here in the query you have to copy this query paste in the middle of the select and form then simply run it and wait for it to get completed once it is completed you can see here for the last task we have to do some manual task come over here paste it like this hit enter make sure the cloud shell session was not closed if you made a mistake you have to restart the lab again now just run it one by one now last task takes time to update the score so you need to wait for at least two to three minutes for getting the score if you have got score for all the tasks okay so just wait and keep hitting check my progress one more important thing i wanted to share if you are getting error just restart the lab and try again the solution is working fine you can see and i will surely get full score in this lab and if you have any query you can let me know in the comment section guys you can see i got full score and that's the way we have completed the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel